DC council members are once again taking up the pay equity fund after a task force recently gave recommendations on how to close a projected multi-million dollar hole for the program benefiting some 3,500 childcare workers. The council chairman moved to add emergency legislation to tomorrow's agenda. This is an injustice. Advocates have been fighting for this program since the spring when the mayor nixed it from her budget. The council reinstated it after the AG said the CFO lacked the authority to require the mayor to fully fund the reserve. But advocates have argued the $70 million a year council members earmarked to help achieve pay parity between early childhood educators and their K-12 counterparts is still more than $16 million short. So we need to be protecting the pay equity funds as if our economy depends on it, because it absolutely does. Ann Gunderson is a senior policy analyst for the D.C. Fiscal Policy Institute. Child care workers allow all other work to happen. The task force of educators and advocates is recommending reductions for facilities charging high tuition, reductions for part-time programs and part-time staff, and increased funding for childcare facilities serving infants and toddlers on subsidy. Ann says as it stands, those with a bachelor's degree would be shouldering next fiscal year's projected funding gap. So the task force is also recommending new minimum salaries based on credentials. Those educators with a bachelor's degree have the freedom to move over to DCPS jobs or other jobs that pay more competitive salary and offer better benefits. Um, so it's really important that we move legislation before these payments go out in December. December is when the fund's current payment scale expires. Reporting in Northwest DC, Rebecca Turco, 7 News.